Salam and hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. Alhamdulillah, I'm very well, thank you. So welcome to my Ramadan food preparation video for 2020. I've bulk prepped lots of freezer snacks including samosas, spring rolls and a few other bits. So I hope it gives you lots of ideas. Have you started preparing for Ramadan? What are you doing to prepare? And are you excited? So first of all, I prepared the meat and potato filling for the samosas. So I'm just chopping up while well, peeling some potatoes. I don't know how many potatoes I've got there. Looks like around eight, nine, 10. But they weren't the largest potatoes in the world. So I've chopped the potatoes, added some salt and uh, covered with cold water and I leave that on the hob to come to the boil. Next I'm preparing the onions, mixed chilies, some garlic and ginger. For the mincemeat mixture, so as always I'm using my chopper to chop everything up. And while the potatoes are boiling, I'm browning the mince. And once the potatoes come to the boil, leave them boiling for about four minutes. And I'm just checking that they're soft enough using a fork, draining them and leaving them on the side to add to the mince meat. So once the mince meat is brown enough, you can either drain off any excess liquid or dry it off. And then I've added in about two cups of frozen mixed veg. It had been out for a little while, uh, so it wasn't quite so frozen anymore. And um, the onion, chopped onions, garlic, ginger and chilli. And there's all the spices and salt. So, okay, I guess I didn't add garlic because I've added garlic paste. So yeah, I added garlic paste and then the spices, which I normally add, got some cumin seeds, cumin powder, probably some garam masala, coriander powder, turmeric powder and some salt as well. And then I added some chopped tomatoes. Usually I would add some passata or sieved tomatoes, but the supermarket had run out. So I'm adding chopped tomatoes and some tamarind sauce. The shops had run out of tamarind paste, so I used the next best thing. And then uh, once that was cooking nicely, I added in the potatoes and kind of mashed it all together because I like my uh, samosa filling to be a little bit softer. Next, I prepared the chicken filling for the spring rolls. So again, I boiled some potatoes. Exactly the same method as I already described. You don't want to hear me say it again, trust me. <laughs> and then I've added some oil to a pan and I was going to use some chicken mince. So I'm just cooking the mince until it's white. Again, you can drain off any excess liquid or dry it up once it's all cooked through. And then I've added in a teaspoon of salt, red chili flakes, probably some cumin powder and garam masala and just mix that all together. And then some mixed herbs, some garlic paste, probably half a tin of chopped tomatoes. Again, I would have added passata, but chopped tomatoes is fine. Some lovely sweet corn. And then the potatoes go in, the boiled ones and some lemon juice and then I'm just chopping up some spring onions for this um, chicken mince mixture for the spring rolls. Very springy and we're in spring. So yeah, just mixing that all together and then um, mashing it with the potato masher to kind of bind everything together.
and then in a large pan added some oil so I add some olive oil for the change I normally use sunflower oil and just added in the chopped chicken breast again cook that till it was nice and white I think I added some garam masala cumin powder uh, garlic paste some paprika and then some mixed herbs once the chicken had cooled down I added it to the chopper and um, yeah processed that till it was nice and um, small <laughs> if that makes sense Ayub's here by the way so you might hear him making noise he's just entered the room so yeah I added it to a mixing bowl added a couple of eggs some plain flour milk and some breadcrumbs and just mix that all together and then make sure you set it in the fridge so that um, it's easier to shape um, because if you don't put it in the fridge you're gonna struggle to shape the chicken nuggets that's how you're drinking his juice by the way if you're wondering what those strange slurpy noises are so yeah I've got uh, some baking paper or greaseproof paper I've pressed the chicken nugget mixture onto it and then I'm using a cookie cutter to cut out these kind of um, round shapes and coated them in breadcrumbs then once you've cut out all the shapes just repeat the process a couple of times till you've used up all of the chicken nugget mixture and then it was time to make the samosa dough for the homemade um, samosa pastry cases I've got a whole video on like how to make samosas from scratch I'll link that for you but I think I've got about six cups of plain flour in this bowl almost a full cup of oil a teaspoon of salt some coarse black pepper and then I added water as much as I needed to kind of get a smooth and uh, not too loose dough and then I left that to sit Why are you talking? What? <laughs> Half the time I don't know. I'm just talking about the food I made, you remember? Does it look nice? Yeah. Okay, you're going to have it in Ramadan? Yeah. Inshallah, yeah. To make the seal for the samosas, I added uh, one cup of plain flour and in total three quarters of a cup of water and mix it together until it's got a glue-like consistency. So there's everything for my samosas first of all. To make the samosa cases, I cut the chapatis in half and then lay them out like that. <laughs> and then um, I've decided, I used to do it with my fingers, I decided to use a pastry brush, it was a lot easier. So. Thank you. 
it's important to close the samosa cases while they're still warm Next up, I'm making the spring rolls. So I've got the spring roll pastry. And finally, I'm making some kebabs. My food prep isn't complete without some kebabs. Especially for the hubby, he loves um, kebabs in Ramadan especially. So yeah, I've just chopped up some onions, mixed chilli, tomato and uh, probably some garlic and ginger. So I've added that to a mixing bowl, some minced meat, an egg or two, um, spices and salt. So usually I add a teaspoon of salt, chilli flakes, red chilli flakes, uh, cumin powder, coriander powder. I've got some gram flour or besan, some lovely coriander, mixing that all together. And then as I did with the chicken nuggets, get your greaseproof paper or baking paper, press the mixture down and uh, using a cookie cutter or something round like a glass, make the kebab shapes. Take the excess meat from around the kebabs and then I like to cut the greaseproof paper and just stack it up like that and then it's easy to take it out once it's frozen. And there's my kebabs all prepped, ready for the freezer. And there's all the freezer snacks ready for Ramadan 2020. I can't wait to eat them inshallah after a long tiring day of fasting inshallah. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Ramadan. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And inshallah, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Salam. Bye.